Hi, I'll make a headshot scan in face mode. It will give a more detail than the body mode, but it's more difficult to track. So I asked my daughter here to put on her headband for uh, create more feature on her head. The face part is uh, very easy to scan. Uh, the difficult part would be the hair. The scanner cannot track a hair, a thin hair that uh, cover the skin, like the hair uh, on the top of the head. I'll scan the chest uh, to make a area for the stand of the figure. If you scan this in body mode, uh, you can scan in uh, less than one minute and it tracks better than face mode. But you will lose uh, details on eye, nose and lips. Next video, I will show you how to uh, combine the face scan and body scan in Blender. As you can see here that uh, the hair is uh, more difficult to pick up because it's thin but the part where the hair is uh, thick um, it can pick up I can't scan uh, the top of her head I have tried many times um, because there is not much uh, hair there so uh face is very easy to scan when i scan in the uh, face mode i will not uh, go around in one circle i scan each half and go back because if i go in one full circle it might lose the track because on the back is very flat i think the best way to scan the body is uh, use the face mode separately and then scan the whole body in body mode and then combine uh, the, the mesh uh, together. I spend a longer time to scan the hair. Um, it doesn't pick up a lot of hair. So I think that, that you just uh, skip it and, and, and do some correction in, in Blender or other software. Some of my uh, previous scanner, it cannot uh, even detect the hair at all. Black hair cannot be seen with the scanner. So I use the, um, I use the uh, swimming cover, swimming hat, and then scan with the hat on. There's some missing point cloud on the left shoulder, so I can fix this by rescan it. Then I'll do some clean up. The ponytail is difficult to clean, so I cut it out. So that's the reindeer headband here. The pie cloud look very nice actually. I cut the base here for standing. I hope that the matching process will uh, can close all the holes here as you can see now we have a solid model I do one more cut with the uh, rectangular too Just make sure that it's uh, very flat and level I see here that the top of the head in this part 
is very difficult to scan. Then I export the STL file directly into the Creality Print for printing. And I just scale it uh, to about 10 centimeters. I move it down the build plate just a bit. And then I send it to the printer. Here's my uh, 3D printer. I have a K1C and a K1Max. I use the K1C for printing with the PLA. This takes about uh, two hours to print. PLA is more difficult to remove the support. Here's the final result. Uh, in next video, I show you how to clean up uh, the models in Blender and print. Uh, it gives a better result than uh, directly print from the scanner.